a weekly vlog just for today though I can't I can't commit to a weekly vlog every week but we're starting a weekly vlog today it is Monday the what's today Monday the 4th um, if you guys saw my vlog that went up yesterday Sunday I said that my photographer canceled on me so we came to Philly this morning to shoot my Nordstrom's sponsor content it needs to go up today or tomorrow so Michael being the angel that he is wink wink <laughs> came with me to philly this morning to help me shoot that content i wanted to shoot in philly but y'all philly is so hectic finding parking it literally took us like 30 minutes to try to find parking we we're in a parking lot um but it's always so hectic to find parking here but i just wanted a different background i needed my photo to be a little bit better so i wanted to shoot downtown philly it's gonna be a mess no, I'm not gonna say that. It's gonna be a great day. We're gonna take amazing photos with some great background. And thanks to everybody who reached out about me being sick and wish me and wish me well. Um, thank you guys. I am feeling a little bit better, not my normal self, but a lot better than what I was feeling yesterday and the day before. So I'm super grateful for that. So yeah, to this Monday, we're gonna go ahead and shoot these content. And you'll spend a day with me and then tomorrow we're gonna shoot a haul and Wednesday I'm gonna go visit my mom. We'll play the week out as it go. I probably won't vlog every single day of the week But I'll do my best to get little clips of my day so you guys can see how I spend my entire week So yeah, let me go ahead and change. I have my clothes in the back um, I'm gonna go ahead and Change my clothes and then we're gonna go out and find a parking spot well, not a parking spot. Find a shooting spot where we're going to do the first look. I'm going to do Nordstrom first. And I am going to shoot in those Jeffrey Campbell shoes that I bought Saturday. That you guys saw yesterday. So I'm really excited about that. I hope that photo turns out good. And please go over on IG. The photo should be posted by the time this vlog goes up. Go over on IG. Show that photo some love. And leave a camera or video recording emoji. So let me know you came from YouTube. All right, let me go and change because Michael is waiting for me and I'm wasting time. I can't wear a bra with this top because the back is completely open and I feel like my boobs is just like. <sighs> Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. You don't have any comments? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Jesus will fix it. Jesus mm -hmm. will fix all the mom boobs in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Put wrong part. Memory card in there. Camera is fully charged. done with look number one we're on to look number two camera stuck look number one was such a struggle because it's so cold and windy outside and my nose started ready and we just could not seem to get the light the struggle y'all the struggle is so real but we're on to look number two um, there's a haul coming soon so you guys will see these looks in the hall but this top is some express. 
I'm done with my Nordstrom sponsor stuff. That was the most important. Since that's done, I'm just getting some content for IG and a thumbnail photo for the next haul you guys will be seeing. You see how I suffer in these streets for these photos? Content creating is not easy and it's not for the week. But my little bag that I pick up from Marshall that I'm going to be using with this outfit. It's so cute. I added this scarf from another bag. I'm thinking about just ordering a bunch of scarves. Like little scarves. I don't know what these are called. Um, to add to my bag to just accessorize them. I am stressed about getting outside because it's cold. And because the sleeve on this top is so puffed. I won't be able to get my jacket on. Y'all, wish me luck. I'm struggling. <laughs> Guys, if you are an influencer and you live somewhere warm, I envy you because it is never easy taking pictures in the cold. And I feel like this has been the longest winter ever. I don't know why. This winter just does not seem to come to an end. And I've been out here since August. August? I don't know since when. Just complaining about this cold and doing photo in this cold. And I'm really ready for it to just be over. Please, God, send us some heat. I'm tired of freezing my buns off. <sighs> it's 49 today, but because it's so windy, it feels like it's 20 degrees. And it doesn't help that I'm sick, so. <sighs> positive vibes, positive vibes. We're gonna get it done. Let's go do it. Catch you guys later. It is Tuesday. We survived Monday. And um, when we last spoke, what did I do? I got something to eat. I picked Ethan up from school. I mailed packages, came home, edited some photos, responded to brand emails, and then made my to do list for today. Woke up this morning, ate breakfast, read my email, and respond to some uh, emails from brand. So that's what I did. I've already done my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lip liner on, curl my hair, so we can shoot this haul. The haul that I'm gonna shoot today goes up 
on wednesday which is tomorrow excuse me guys i'm still a little stuffy but i am feeling a lot better than i was so that's good but the video that i'm shooting today have to go up tomorrow so i need to shoot it quick upload it to dropbox for my editor to edit and then when we're done with that i have to do a story for my nordstrom um sponsor post the one that we shot yesterday i'm gonna do the story for it today I'm going to pick up a package from UPS. I usually just put my to-do list on my phone so I can go over it. I do it in my notes. Nothing fancy. I uh, pick up my package from UPS. I have to post a sponsor content for CVS. That's very important today. So I need to not forget about that. But the good thing about that is I had to send it for approval. So the caption is already done. The photos, the story, everything is already done. I just have to go on IG and post it. So I'm going to do that after, maybe after I do my hair and I finish up my lip, I'll probably I need to that. go to the store and get Claritin D. I think it's going to help with my nose. That sounds super congested. Uh, I have had to read a letter and print it up for my mom. Um, I'm going to go see her tomorrow. I haven't seen her in a while. She needs me to do something for immigration. So I have to print that letter, drop it off, and then we're going to go get it notarized. Uh, I have to get the YouTube links and do the thumbnail for the video that's going to go up tomorrow because I know tomorrow I'm going to be busy with my mom so I won't have time to do that. Then I have to go out and take some passport photos. Um, I need to do an invoice and send it over to Ann Taylor and then I have to take Ethan to Five and Below. He's been asking me to go to Five and Below for like a week and oh my god I keep telling him I'm going to take him. And I haven't taken him, and I promised him that I would take him today. So that's what we're going to do. The lip liner I am using is called Vibe. I think I showed you guys this before. And it's by Morphe. And this is one of my favorite lip liner because it's very natural. But it still shows. A lot of the other lip liners that I have, they're natural. But I feel like they don't show on my lip. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. But, y'all... I was going through my email. I hope the light in this bathroom is good. Let's see. I was going through my email this morning and this brand emailed me yesterday. Apparently they emailed me on Friday and I didn't respond and they I don't know how I missed that email. And then they sent a follow up email yesterday. So I went ahead and responded it to it this morning. It is for a Mother's Day partnership that they want to do a, a mother's day campaign that they're running and they wanted me to be a part of it and it had a long list oh my god excuse me and they have a long list of things that they want um the deliverables it's so long they want licensing for the photos they want to whitelist the photos if you don't know what white listing is is when a brand run ad with your photos but on your page so it looked like you ran the ad but it's actually them that ran the ad ran the ad so they want to do that. They want the images for themselves, for them to use on our website and email marketing. All of these things, right? So they asked me for my rate and I sent over my rate. And I think, honestly, I feel like my rate compared to other influencers that have the same amount of followings as me is a lot lower than most. Because I do have friends uh, that are influencers and I talk to them. Some I have more followings them their followers are maybe like maybe 10k less or maybe 10 10k more and i know how much they charge i know what the rate is out here but i don't base my rate on other people i base my rate on what i think is fair for me and what i think um i'm doing what is worth so my rate is pretty i don't want to say cheap but it's pretty affordable compared to most of the other rates out here because i i've heard other people rates we talk wondering what i'm wearing on my lip i am wearing nyx i think this is called lingerie and the color is unlaced this is what it looks like i hope this camera is focused anyway as i was saying my rate is way less than what most people are charging out here, right? If I send you a rate that is $5,000, I will break down what what it is. I'm not just going to send you a rate and be like, oh, my rate is 5 k This is why it's 5 k this is, this is for this, this is for this, this is for this, and this is for this, and this is the total. So that's usually what I do. So when I broke it down for them, and I, 
actually charge them way less for the white whistling because most of the time when I work with brands and they're white oh gosh and they white whistle my content or they run ads with it I usually charge them whatever I charge for a post which is a lot <laughs> but it's pretty fair so I actually charged them way less I was like all right well I'll just I won't charge them that much <sighs> can you guys believe I got an email this morning and this is a big brand this is not um, um, a small business this is not this is a big company they came back telling me that oh you know thanks for getting back to them um, they love my content they really want to work with me but for transparency they are only offering $750 for this campaign <laughs> I thought I read the email wrong I had to go back and read it I'm like wait what $750 that's what they're offering for two to four looks um, they want photos in all of the looks they want me to send the photos to them they want to use it for that email that website the IG and at the same time they want to run ad on my Instagram page with those photos for 45 days they want me to get out in this cold while I am sick and take I think she said three to four outfits but let's just say around 10 to 20 photos in this code give it to them let them run ad on it let them do whatever they want to do with it for 750 dollars i felt so disrespected i'm like are you serious are you serious i know what the industry rate is like i know i know people that have less following than i do that charge 1500 dollars just for stories just for ig stories. my rate is pretty fair but for you to offer me $750 for the amount of work you're asking me, I was just like, that's a no. And it's one thing if that was a small brand or a small business, I will, I'll be like, okay, sure, why not? But this is a big brand. They work with celebrities. I see them work with bigger influencers. And you want to give me $750? I feel so disrespected. I didn't even respond to the email because I don't even know what to say to them. But I'll respond later. But let me stop talking and put my hair on, curl it, so we can get this uh, day started. But those people really just threw me off completely. I was just like, uh-uh, you're trying me. <laughs> you're trying me and you're being disrespectful. No. No. All right. I have transformed. My hair is on. I think I need a little more blush. Or maybe I don't. It's just that the light in here is not that great. But I've put my hair on. I got a question about this. Um, I got a question about this hair. I think, was it in my last vlog? I bought this for my girlfriend. Um, she have a hair company. The same one that gave me the shelf that's in my room. I'll put her hair company IG here. For you guys to go ahead and check out if you're interested. I don't know if I need a little more blush. I think it might be fine. And... I did a partnership with CVS. It's, the post is probably up by the time this vlog go up. And it was for these eyeshadow palettes. They are called, they are by Essence. And this one is called Browns This Way. And this one is called Coral My, Coral Me, maybe. And then there's another one here called, where's the other one? Um, nothing compares to nude. I see that. Please go over on IG and check out the post. But since I did that sponsor post with them and I had to buy this palette, I've actually been using it. And I really like it. That's the eyeshadow that I use today. I'm no makeup artist, but it's pretty good and it's easy to use. I feel like it's a good spring color. But all right, let me go and change my clothes. I'm going to shoot the video in my room today. We're going to sit right next to my tutor rack and it's going to be my background. I figure why not so I can change it up a bit. So we need to get to going. Let me show you guys the clothes. I've already put it on the rack. I steamed it. Um, it's right there behind me, the light. I've always told you guys the light in this apartment is not that great. So bear with me. But this is everything here on the rack. I steamed it last night. Um, the video is going to be what's new in my closet. So we're going to move this rack into my bedroom. 
and put it right next to the shelf and then we'll go ahead and do this haul I think I'm gonna wear this top in the video this is the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing this top is from Espress this dress is from Ann Taylor by the time you watch this vlog the video will already be up so this dress is from Ann Taylor I'm showing these dresses because I think they are great Easter dresses and also great Mother's Day dresses especially these three um, love that from Ann the white pants is from Espress I'm gonna be wearing it with this top and then this uh, I don't know what to call this blazer pants slash jumpsuit is from Zara this is from Zara this is from Zara and this is my new favorite coat this is from H&M and then I have some shoes and bags so the items you guys will see in the um, hall let me go and set up in my room make sure the light is good you guys know the struggle for light in this room is not the best but I'm thinking I'm gonna sit right here and this is gonna be my background wall I'm gonna be sitting like this and this is gonna be my background I hope it's not too busy because I don't like the background of the video to be busy but I think this is a good spot I'm gonna open up that window and then I'll bring in my ring light so let me set up and I'll catch up with you guys later bye if you're enjoying the vlog please like and leave me a comment so I can do more because I don't want to be doing something if you guys are not enjoying it I don't want to waste my time let me know I think this is a good spot ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm squatting and now I can't get up I have old knees oh god <laughs> all right let me go I have done with my try on and surprisingly I'm not tired usually by this time I am exhausted but I'm not tired I'm happy I'm in a good mood video went well that's my rack behind me. I got to get that rack out of my bedroom. I'm going to have to clean up. But first, I have to run to, I think it's about 1.30, almost 2 o'clock. I have to run to CVS and get this passport photo. And then I have to post. I'm at the window in my room because we need good light. I'm about to post my CVS sponsor content. And something else that I have to do that I don't remember. I have to check my to-do list. But, oh, I have to upload this video that I just shot for it to be edited and uploaded to YouTube tomorrow. But this is the mess after. It's not a big of a mess. Usually, it's a lot more. This is my rack. I just had it standing right next to the shelf. That's my closet. Closet needs a makeover. I want to get a few more shelves to put in there. So, do not judge my closet. This, These are the items that were shot. Um... I just rearranged the shelf a little bit. I have to come back now after I do that passport, passport size photo. Passport photo? Passport size photo? You guys know what I mean. And then after I... My sponsor content because that's one of the biggest things I have to do today. And then after I upload the haul to be edited for tomorrow. But yeah, when I come back, I'll clean up. You guys saw this shoe already i've talked about it too much i need i feel like i need a nice bag to match this shoe see that's the thing once you stop buying things then you want to buy more things i need to stop that but when i come back i'll clean and i think that's it for us today i'm gonna wrap this vlog up for today here and then we will pick up tomorrow which is wednesday or thursday i don't know if you guys will see me tomorrow because tomorrow is gonna be a pretty serious day but we'll see let me wrap this up today because i want to catch up on my work and i'll see you guys on wednesday i hope you guys had a good tuesday don't judge my messy room this is the life of a creator catch you tomorrow
Friday um, y'all I am in a hurry my life is a shamble I have a 10 30 I don't even know what time it is not 10 30 I have a 10 a.m. appointment with a business banker it's currently 11 what am I saying 11 okay calm down <laughs> let's do that again happy Friday hope you guys are doing well I am on my way to the bank I have an appointment with a business banker my appointment is at 10 a.m. It's currently 9.45. I don't know why I keep saying 11. 9.45, I'm at Wawa. I'm parked, getting gas, because I'm in a hurry. I'm wearing my Zara shirt. If you caught my last haul, you probably seen the shirt in there. Um, today is gonna be a really fun day once I get over the business part of it. The first two starts of my day is all business. I have a couple of things that I need to do. Then I'm gonna go meet up with my girlfriend Vivian at King of Pressure. But I wanted to stop in, say good morning, catch you guys up. Um, we will probably talk when I come out of my meeting at the bank, but I'm waiting for this gas to finish so we can go. I'm trying not to be late, but I'm gonna be late because it's 30 minutes away. But she said try to get there between um, 10 and 10, 15. So let me put the address in and see. Actually, my gas is done. I will catch you guys after the meeting so I can try to rush. All right, guys. Watch out later. Bye. Where did we leave off? Wednesday, I went to New Jersey to visit my mom. I told you guys I had to help her out with something pertaining to immigration. I had to type up a letter for her and then go help her do some running around. So that's what I did on Wednesday. Um, the weather was really nice. After that, Michael and I went out for... I want to say lunch <laughs> no dinner we went out for dinner um yeah we went to this really nice restaurant an agent that i was working with to find a property help uh, told us about that restaurant and we've been wanting to go and try it out and when the weather was nice we decided why not i left jersey we met up we went and had lunch i had all white on that day the weather was nice so i wanted to take advantage of it i had on my favorite pair of white jeans from express i had on um, a white button up shirt i don't remember where i got that shirt from and then i had on my brown loafers from nordstrom and then my coach bag that was my outfit the restaurant was so cute we sat outside in the back the food was delicious we had such a good time I'm thinking about us making it at least a weekly thing to go out on little dates because I work so much. Um, and because he takes my photos and he go with me to the photo shoot, we usually go after and grab something. So we never plan proper dates, but that was really nice. We just got to hang out that day. And then after we ate, we left the restaurant. We just went driving around, checking out the neighborhood, checking out the area. So it was a nice day. We had a good Wednesday. Thursday, I had to go to Philly uh to meet up with a lawyer i have a lawyer uh in philly i had to go meet him and drop off some paperwork and sign some document for something i'm working on i'm working on something really exciting i can't wait to share with you guys but we'll share later so i went to philly it was rainy it was so nasty i was in traffic for hours which i don't like and i don't like going to philly because of those reasons but um got to philly Went up there, signed the paper that I needed to sign, dropped the things that I needed. I was super casual that day. I didn't even put any makeup on. I had on my Ann Taylor trench coat. I had on a pair of black jeans from... Where, where is... What was that jeans from? Oh, uh, from Spanx. I had on a white shirt. I had on my favorite pair of rain boots from um, TJ Maxx. Yes, TJ Maxx, and I just had a big bag because I had a lot of documents I needed to carry. So that was my Thursday. Today is now Friday. 
and Friday started off to a pretty hectic start because I had two meetings. I had to meet up. Um, I'm in Newark, Delaware currently. I had to meet up with a business uh, banker. I had a 10 a.m. appointment with her to just go over my finances and go over some things. So that meeting went well. When I left there, I had to come to this office building that I'm at to drop off checks for this exciting thing that I'm working on. I had to drop two checks off. And y'all, I realized that I don't know how to write a check. I have a checkbook, um, but I don't remember ever having to write a check. I've done money orders. I've done cashier checks, but like a personal, when well I read a personal check, because it's a business check, but I never had to write a check. And I had to Google it because I didn't, I was like, oh, I want to make sure I do this right. But it was just so weird to me that as a grown adult woman, that own two businesses, I don't know how to write a check. It, it it was so interesting. Don't judge me. But I think I need to start writing more checks. I'm so used to just like paying people through um, Zelle, PayPal, Cash App, or they'll send you an invoice and you pay them that I've never had to write a physical check. So I hope I did the check right. I had to Google it, look at some pictures online, <laughs> look at some pictures online and make sure that it was done right. But I'm so excited for this new project that I am about to take on. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. It's currently um, 1140. The weather is pretty nice. So I'm heading to King of Prussia Mall. I have a girl's date with my girlfriend, Vivian. Um, you guys who've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you know her. We plan to meet up today and go out. I told her I had a couple of meetings in the morning. So I was going to meet her after. King of Prussia is about 45 minutes from where I am now. And I think it's 45 minutes from where she lives. So we're going to meet up. We're going to do a little shopping. We're going to go out to dinner. It's always such a good time when I hang out with Vivian. And I have not seen her in a little over a month. Um, so that's what we're going to go do. I'm wearing my shirt from Zara. I showed this shirt in my last vlog. And then I just have it on with a pair of blue jeans. I have my little brown bag. I had to get a pin out. And I have a pair of brown heels to match and i have on my express necklace so that's my little outfit um, i don't have any big shopping plan i do want to get some shoes and i realized that i don't have any nice black bag because i wanted to wear my pair of jeffrey camel heels because i've just been dying to wear it <laughs> wear it to go to the mall but i realized i didn't have any nice black bag to match so i might get a black bag today something a little more fancy um, and then I realized that my wallet, well, I didn't realize, I knew my wallet has been falling apart. It is busted. Look at my wallet, y'all. And I bought this wallet off of Amazon, um, last year. I just needed something that was a little more organized. I can hold all of my cards because I have a lot of cards. But my wallet is so busted and I've been being cheap. I, um, haven't wanted to buy a new one, but... I might get me a nice little wallet today at the mall. I, I'm thinking... Um, I don't want to say we'll go into the mall and see what we have. I'm willing to spurt. I shouldn't say that because you guys know I'm cheap. I'm willing to spend a little bit on a nice black wallet. So I'll get a wallet and I might get a bag, but that's about it. I don't plan on doing any big shop. All right. So we are 47 minutes away. Let me give Vivian a call and let her know that I will be arriving at... What did the GPS say? 12.30. Wow, I didn't think my day was going to take, my appointments was going to take that long. Hola. Where are you doing? Where are you? I'm about to head your way now. I just put in the GPS. It says I am 47 minutes away, so I'll be there at 12.30. I know. I didn't think this was going to take this long. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn, I told you I'll call you when I'm leaving. Somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody, 
I'm not three hours of walking. I'm already fine for me. I'm paying for that. She had to be. We made it. I love your shirt. Is it from Zara? No. Where's no. it from? It's from Shopo. Shopo? I've never shopped there. Oh, yeah. I was Online tagging. or in store? I found them through another influencer. I saw she tagged us. I was like, oh. One? Is it taggable? Nice. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, and then I tag a few stuff. I saw people bought it, so I thought I should shop there. You I know, need to show your old what like we it. find a seat. I thought she now walking I thought um Vivian I was walking past all the luxury. She all was the on the luxury. luxury end and I was on the semi luxury end. You all the low end, the high street. <laughs> I know, I thought I said semi. <laughs> she was on the, the high luxury. street and I was on the luxury <laughs> end. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Try to come back when you think I always wanted you, but it's that I don't see you. You got something real, not bad. You want to get with me, stop. Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded. Don't go too far now. Alright, this is fancy and chic. Looking fancy and chic. <laughs> Can we get the full outfit detail? Alright, where's the top from? So my top is from Shopo. Oh. I checked before coming and sold out, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. Goes up, nobody's gonna be able to Damn. Play. It comes as a set, but the skirt is too small. Anyway, oh, it's a nice um spring yeah, top. Yeah, a mask and neutrals. Okay. So my dress is from Zara. Okay. Emily Long has it in pink. Yes, and I have it in the beige, like a white. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, she my just tried to show the boot. Let me see. Aldo? Aldo bag, but it's from TJ Maxx. Oh, I love that. Let me get the arm party details. Oh, yeah. Girl, you are doing it. Rings. <laughs> Where's your rings from? Strong hands. I apologize. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? You gotta own it. Oh, my ring. This one is from Express, and this one is from HM. You're very bedazzled. Oh, yeah. I'm living for this it. This is just for aesthetic. It looks, I love it. Working. Nobody tell time on watch anyway. Exactly. And I love your necklace. Let me oh, see. Oh, yeah. My necklace is from a small business owner on. IG. I, on, I, IG. On IG. <laughs> I love it. Really pretty. And then she got the gold hoops. Oh, there's is a Walmart. And everybody's been really? asking for it. Yeah. Oh, it looks really good. It's love so the odd. look. Amazon. Amazon. Of course, we're wearing Amazon heels. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. That's fine. Okay, okay, I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests And I'm way too sexy to go unprotected And she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you Okay, alright, that's fine, okay Think we got too sexy for that metro housing Diamond popped out, I'm gonna swallow 60,000 Section need more things in here, I like it crowded like, Whoa, whoa yeah, I like it crowded. Oh, you like the boy? Well, tell me what you like about him. You a turned a little thotty, ain't no wife about it. I'm gonna fuck her friends and send them back to Metro Let's Housing. See, turn around. Let's yeah. see. It's beautiful. But try another well, color. Why is so picture perfect? I know. She's ready. She's just ready. She's yeah. ready for the camera. What are your names? Vivian and Emmeline. Yeah. I'm Rebecca. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, now, Rebecca. this is on the shortest, but you can obviously make it longer if you want to. I'm thinking. Fun. Pieces are hand stitched. Do a, do a slow mo video. Oh my God. Yes. All of, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. You are? You sure? Yeah, I'm ready. I was born for this. Oh, like? Yeah. Okay. I love it. All of our pieces are hand stitched made in Italy. Let me just put this in here so I don't confuse them. Oh, this is I Yes, we have a ton of I really like this. Well, I'm from Middle Town to Over. Yeah. That bag was made for you. I know, this is what I need. I, really I just that. love it. It's so classic, you know? Oh my God, I need this. Like, and I know she will wear this more wear this compared more. to the blue. Yeah. The blue is a you, you, Yeah, well then, the blue is a moment. Yeah, yeah. It's like pop of color. <laughs> oh my god, look at so you. Just oh, I think I want this. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank goodness. I love it. You love it? So do you really like that scarf? Yeah. I like the scarf. You don't like the scarf. No, I love the scarf. <laughs> Oh my god, this is what I want. I don't want to hurt nobody. Did it over, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you want to be somebody. Even if you got to leave somebody. 
it's all dirty, it's all dirty. Most of the things I don't wanna say. I won't be around while you chase. You'll try to come back when you fail. Back south, you answer. This is her Mother's Day dress. Yes. It has pockets. It have pockets? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh my god! You need to get it. How much is this one? Six <laughs> That's pretty affordable. Yes. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> you don't have enough fat, oh my! The clothes be digging into. You get the rolls, but you don't have a lot of fat. I like it though. Can you step up there so I can get a full 360 view? Yes, I'm kind of seeing the rules. So give me a front. <laughs> uh, I like the back details. Mm -hmm. And the full look. Full look. Yeah. Amazon heels. Out the bag. Boy, we just had lunch. And we got a little sauce. Wait. Uh, it's like, well, not easy. Yeah, something must be doing different. Yeah, I love it. Bye. I'm going out <laughs> on the date. Yeah. For the people dressed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're giving you prints. Mm -hmm. I feel like the light is a bit much. Yeah. You go ahead. Let me, Let me turn it down. I'm gonna turn it down and see. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can turn it back up. Oh, look at this. Ted Baker. It's cute. It's giving Easter brunch. Um, there we go. Oh, I didn't realize it was in there. Mm hmm That's not new. Yeah. Am I giving you vacation vibes? Yeah. Mother Day. Easter. Brunch. Yeah. All of it. Let me get your mm -hmm. outfit where you look like you're going on vacation. <laughs> the prints. Mm -hmm. She's not giving neutrals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> giving vacation. Yeah. Somewhat tropical. Oh, I love it. And the skirt fits you so well. Oh, I'm falling. <laughs> what are you sipping? <laughs> Imaginary cocktail. <laughs> it looks good, though. Yeah, it looks it's giving good. me African prints. Oh, yeah, Ankara. Ankara vibes. Yeah, yeah it's nice. You want to get with me, stop. Hey, told me about all your insecurities. 
keys for what? Drag me like two hours to your family's house for what? Said you need some time, but I should stick around for what? Always felt like sticking around's the same as being stuck. That's that shit that drives me crazy. And like guns with the ink in getting under my skin. Pretty little young thing, had a nigga convinced, got me too excited. in my car um, Vivian went home she have to go pick her kids up I'm gonna start heading home now it's about 440 it's almost five o'clock um, I have a sponsor post uh, for CVS that I need to pull up my second sponsor post so I'm gonna go ahead and post that before I start heading home it was such a fun day we had a good time I did not buy any bag from Fendi but y'all I am so obsessed with those bags I love them the black one was about 4800 <laughs> and I think the the blue one was about 3800 I don't know if I'm ready to make that kind of commitment yet that's a lot I'm gonna have to think about that for a really long time but I do want to get a black bag I didn't buy anything I didn't even get a um a wallet because we spent so much time in Fendi and then from there we went out to eat and then um, we ate, we talked, we went into Nordstrom, as you guys saw, did a little try on, try some items on, but I didn't buy anything. So I'll probably plan another day to just come to the mall to shop because this was just to really hang out with Vivian. We don't get to see each other um, that much. But I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy spending the day with me, well, the week with me, and if you did, I appreciate it. If you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you wanna see more weekly vlogs. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll catch you in the next video or the next vlog. I'm not gonna vlog this weekend. Um, since I vlogged, sorry, sorry, my nose is super stuffy. Since I vlogged all week, I'm not gonna vlog this weekend, but I'll pick the vlog up probably next week when I'm getting ready to go to um, Texas. So that should be fun. Catch you later, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye.